Hello, and welcome to chapter 10, lesson seven. Today we're gonna to be multiplying mixed numbers. All right, so this is kind of a picture of what happens when we multiply mixed numbers. So let's get started and check it out. A blueberry muffin recipe calls for one half cup of blueberries. A blueberry pie recipe calls for three and a half times more blueberries. So we're multiplying three and a half, oops, three and one half times one half, right? Half a cup, we multiply it by three and a half, which we remember multiplying something by a half is the exact same thing as dividing it by two. So that's kind of what we can keep in our brains here. Uh, while well, we're going through this. So how many cups of blueberries are needed to make the pie? The model shows one half times three and a half. Shade the squares that represent the product. Okay, so this is three and a half. Here's one, here's two, here's three, and then a half of that last one. Okay, so when we did this before, I would have shaded all of this, and then I'm gonna get another picture, or another marker color, and then I need to shade, so I did three and a half this way, I need to shave a half, shade a half this way, so then I would shave a, shade a half. Where do they intersect? Let me get that pretty purple color out again, that was nice. They intersect right here. Can you kind of see that purple? color um, to make things oops to make things easier I'm gonna erase all of this and kind of shade in purple where they intersect so it would be this part right here okay so what does that mean so here I have two pieces and two pieces so that's like a half and a half which would make one whole right or let's kind of figure out how many pieces do I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have seven total pieces, and my denominator is going to be four, because if I'm looking at how many are in each hole, notice there are four in each hole. One, two, three, and four. Okay, and so if I am going to look at seven fourths, notice here they're breaking it out separating it into groups of four, so I would have one whole, four fourths, and three fourths left over. Okay, so my final, so this should be seven fourths, and one and three fourths is what my total cup of blueberries is what I would need. Okay, so here's the deal. If you're looking at this and saying, Mrs. Hamer, I have no clue, it makes a lot more sense once we do the multiplying. Like once we can get into a role of multiplying, you'll be like, oh, okay, I get it now. Uh, but this is good too to see the pictures of what's actually happening. Okay, so let's keep going. So key concept, to multiply mixed numbers, first we need to write the mixed numbers as improper fraction, and then we just multiply, right? So we've got two steps first, Improper fraction, step two, multiply. So remember my little trick that we did. So if I have one and one half, we need to circle up, multiply. Two times one is two, and plus one is three over two. So I'm gonna be multiplying three over two, and then I need to circle up my three and three fourths. So let's circle up. Four times three is 12, plus three more is 15 fourths. Okay, so I have 15 fourths times three halves. Now, if I'm gonna look to simplify here, do you see anything that we, uh, yeah, there's nothing. Bummer, I was hoping there's something we could simplify. Okay, that means I need to multiply numerators. Three times 15 is 45. I know two, one 15 is 15, 30, 45. And two times four is eight. Okay, so I should never, which I, when I was looking at your guys' tests, I saw quite a few improper fractions. 
Maybe that was third grade. I can't remember. But please make sure when you're writing your answers, we do not ever write improper fractions. So I need to divide the top divided by the bottom. 45 divided by 8. So I know 8 times 5 is 40 with 5 left over. Now remember, this is my numerator and this is my denominator. So 5 and 5 eighths is my answer. 5 and 5 eighths. Okay, here's a picture of what was happening here. If that helps you, if it doesn't help you, just remember when we multiply mixed numbers, first step, improper fraction. Second step, multiply. Third step, always simplify. Right, let's keep going. Okay, so we are going to find four and one fifth times one half. I'm gonna circle up four and one fifth. Five times four is 20 plus one is 21 fifths. Okay, so now I'm taking 21 fifths and multiplying it by one half because my answer, this is what I'm going for here. Okay, so 21 times one is 21. Five times two is 10, 21 tenths. Okay, so now if I'm gonna change that into a mixed number, I can do top divided by the bottom. 20 divided by 10 is two. Minus 20, I have one left over. So two and one tenth, numerator, denominator. Two and one tenth is my mixed number. Remember the other option I have would be to break it apart and do 10 tenths plus 10 tenths plus one tenth. I know that this is worth one and this is worth one. So I have one plus one plus one tenth or two and one tenth. So two and one tenth is my answer. Ooh, this can be kind of hard to get all these guys in here. I'm do my best to write kind of small. My pen died though, so I'm having to use a different stylus. It's not so easy to work with, but here we go. Okay, I'm gonna circle up. So I have to do three times five is 15, plus one is 16 thirds times, circle up again, four times one is four, plus one is Five. Notice my denominator does not change. I'm going to see, is there any reducing I can do? Ooh, look at this. I can divide by four, divide by four, and put a four there and a one there. And now look what I'm doing. One times five is five. Three times one is three. Ooh, I shouldn't have written it up there. So it's improper. Write it back down here. Five thirds. Okay. So I've got the couple of options here. I can break it into three thirds plus two thirds. So it's one and two thirds is my answer. Should we ever write our answers in improper fractions? No, not unless it's asking you to. Sometimes we'll be doing like, hey, change this mixed number into an improper fraction. And yes, please do write your answer as an improper fraction. But if it's not that, then don't do it. All right, I'm gonna switch colors here. Circle up, five times one is five, plus two more is seven fifths. Six, circle up again. Six times three is 18, plus one more is 19 sixths. Don't see any reducing here, bummer. So that means I need to do seven times 19. I'm gonna do it over here to save some space. 63, seven plus six is 13. So I get 133 over five times six is 30. Okay, so to, this is improper because the numerator is bigger than the denominator. So I need to divide top divided by the bottom. 
Ooh, it's not helping me. Okay, let's count by 30s to see how many 30s are going to fit into 133. 30, 60, 90, 120. So I'm going to go 4 minus 120 equals 13. Okay, so I, my answer is 4 and here's my numerator, 13. Here's my denominator, 30ths. 4 and 13 30ths. Now you're going to have to do work on a separate piece of paper, I'm guessing, on this because they do not give you enough room to do it all on your paper. So when you're submitting your assignment, please take a picture of your beautiful, neat workspace so that I can easily tell which problem, which work goes with, with which problem. All right, let's do the last one here. So I'm going to circle up. 7 times 8 is 56, plus one more is 57 eighths times. 6 times 2 is 12, plus 5 is 17 sixths. Oh, these are nasty. Why aren't they giving us nice, easy, beautiful problems to work with? Okay, 57 times 17. 7 times 7 is 49. 7 times 5 is 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, add a 0, 1 times 7, 7, 1 times 5 is 5, add them together, I get 9, 9 and 7 makes 16, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 9, oh gosh, these are nasty. 969 over 8 and 6 is 48. Okay, now I need to do top divided by the bottom. Oh, 969 divided by 48. Okay, so 248 is 96. Okay, maybe it's not going to be too bad. So 2 minus 96, and I'd get 0, bring down my 9, can't do it, so it's going to be 20 minus 0, 9, here's my numerator, 9 over 48, yikes. Now, I do know that 9 can be divided by 3, and my question is, can 48 be divided by 3? It can. Okay, so I'm going to have 20. If I divide by 3, I'm going to get 3. And then if I divide 48 by 3, and I know it can be divided by 3 because 6 goes into 48. And so I know that I can um, divide that by 3 as well. And you know what I could have done? I didn't see it, but 57 is divisible by 3. So at the very beginning, I could have divided those both by 3, and I would have been using much easier numbers. But I didn't see that, so now I get to divide by 3 at the end. Um, 48 divided by 3 is 16. So 20 and 3 sixteenths. Man, these are doozies. I can't believe they're having these harder problems for you guys. All right, so let's keep going here. The table shows some ingredients in lasagna. If you make three times the recipe... How many cups of cheese are needed? So I'm going to do two and two thirds times um, three times the recipe times three. Okay, so I'm going to circle up my two and two thirds. Three times two is six plus two more is eight thirds times three over one. Remember how we, when we're multiplying by whole numbers, we put it over one. Look at this. Divide by 3, divide by 3, 1, 1, 8 times 1 is 8, 1 times 1 is 1, and so that is the same as saying 8 cups. Oh, thank goodness, an easy one. Karen purchased a square picture frame. Each side measures 1 and 1 fourth feet. What is the area? So here's my picture frame, one and one fourth feet. 
one and one fourth feet. To find the answer, or to find the area, I need to multiply. So one and one fourth times one and one fourth, circle up. Four times one is four, plus one is five fourths times five fourths, right? Because one and one fourth is still gonna be five fourths. So I'm gonna get 25 for my numerator and 16 for my denominator. Um, and then I'm going to divide, sure, top divided by the bottom. 116 goes in there. 15 minus 6 is 9. So this was my 1. Sorry, it's kind of confusing being up there. Um, here's my numerator, 9. And here's my denominator, 16. So the area equals 1 and 9 16 feet squared. It takes Marty one and one fourth hours to get ready for school. If one fifth of that time is used to shower and one third of that time is used to eat breakfast, how long does it take him to shower and eat breakfast? Okay, so we're talking about hours here. So if I find what is one and one fourth, so what's one fifth of that? We know this is five fourths if I circle up. Four times one is four plus one is five. So five fourths times one fifth. Look at it, divide by five, divide by five. If I can only do it if I'm dividing by the same number. Okay, so I'm gonna get one fourth of, the of an hour is showering. Okay, one fourth of an hour to shower. And then one third, of, one and one fourth, so five fourths times one third. Okay, so that's gonna be five times one equals five. Four times three is 12. Five twelfths of an hour to eat breakfast. Okay, and the question says, how long? So to me that says time. So it does not say that we're going to be doing um, fractions. Well, I suppose we could add the fractions together and put it of an hour. Let's do that. So now I need to add one fourth plus five twelfths. Okay, so I need to get common denominators. So I can't just multiply my denominator by two by three and call it good. I need to do the same to the numerator. Okay, so when I do this, is it gonna let me move? Nope, I'm gonna scooch it all over there. When I do this, then I'm going to be getting 3 twelfths plus 5 twelfths to get 8 twelfths, which can be reduced. 8 divided by 4 and 12 divided by four boop, 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 is two thirds. Okay, so what does that two thirds mean? It's two thirds minutes? Nope. Two thirds of an hour. Now, if you wanna take that a step farther, what is two thirds? of an hour if I wanted to change it to minutes. Let me tell you a little hint. Notice this of. What do, what do we think of when we think of of? We think of multiplying, right? So if I wanna take two thirds and how many minutes are in an hour times 60, right? If I, wanna, if I have one hour and I wanna say how many minutes I do one times 60, say 60 minutes. Okay, so now I'm going to simplify, divide by three, divide by three, 20, okay, two times 20, 40, one times one is one, so it would be 40 minutes. Okay, so now we have it covered. If we want to know two thirds of an hour or how many minutes, now we can know 40 minutes or two thirds of an hour are the same old thing. 
All right, here we go. Using algebra, Callisto built a rectangular sign that measures two and three fourths feet in length. And then the width is one and one fourth feet shorter than the length, seriously. Okay, so we have to do two and three fourths minus one and one fourth. Three fourths minus one fourth is two fourths. Hopefully your brain's telling you one half, one half, one half. Two minus one is one. So one and one half feet is the width. Okay, the width of the sign to find the area, multiply the length and width. What is the area of the sign in square feet? Okay, so now I need to multiply two and three fourths times one and one half. What do I need to do? Improper fractions. So I need to circle up. Four times two is eight. 8 plus 3 is 11 fourths times 2 times 1 is 2 plus 1 is 3 halves. Anything I can simplify? Nope. So I'm going to get 33 eighths. Again, okay, just multiply numerators, multiply denominators. So 33 divided by 8. 4 eighths make a 32. One left over. 4 and 1 eighth, so the area is 4 and 1 eighth feet squared. So area is always squared. Write an equation to solve. Well, the first thing I did was subtract, right? So I'd take 2 and 3 fourths minus 1 and 1 fourth. After I get that, I'm going to multiply it by 2 and 3 fourths to get the area, right? So this is my length times width equals the area. Neat. All right, we got one more. Test practice. A Antoinette bought two and three, two thirds pounds of grapes and one and one fifth pounds of apples. If she bought bananas that weighed one and one fourth times as much as the grapes, how much did the bananas weigh? So, how much did the grapes weigh? There we go. Do I need to know how many apples weighed? Uh-uh, extra information. They're trying to trick you to think that you need to use all the numbers on there. So, two and two thirds times one and one fourth. Circle up, oops, three thirds, two thirds. Circle up, three times two is six, plus two more is eight thirds times Four times one is four, plus one more is five-fourths. Oop, I see I can simplify. Divide by four. Eight divided by four is two. Okay, so that's x'd off. Two, four divided by four is one. So I'm gonna do two times five is 10. Three times one is three. Now I need to make it into a mixed number. So top divided by the bottom. 10 divided by 3 goes in there 3 times, which is 9. 3 and 1 third. Boom. She bought 3 and a third pounds of bananas. All right, that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching. Let me know if you have any questions.